that this was the worst he's ever seen. On Friday, heavy rains left parts of Barnardsville completely underwater. So it came across here and backed up maybe 50 feet that way. It was Melissa Coates dad's 77th birthday and not the ideal birthday surprise. You know, when you're that age and you're on that fixed income, a surprise like this is it could be devastating. The bridge leading up to his driveway completely washed away. I had to keep trying to tell him it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. We'll figure it out. And it was a similar scene throughout the area. Those storms damaged several roads throughout the mountains, just like this one off of Barnardsville Highway. Now, because a lot of these are actually privately owned, people are left wondering when they'll be fixed. We spoke to the property owner of Glen Hill Road off camera. He said he doesn't plan to fix the road, but will be building a new one in a different spot on his property. And despite the coats being on their own, they still have each other. Family first. You just take it one day at a time and try to get everything put back. But putting it back can be difficult when their culvert was washed downstream and destroyed. Quite a bit of expense for a washout like that. Coach says the new culvert cost $3,000 and they're still waiting to see how much the gravel will be. Seven loads of gravel that they have brought in here. Not to mention the time off work Coates had to take to help her dad. Two days just to try to help him get everything back. But she says the hardest part was watching the storm tear through her hometown and know there was nothing she could do about it. Nothing. Just stand and watch.